Hey ya, it's Dana. I'm here today to paint a landscape for you of where I grew up. It's in the Alberta foothills and it's one of my favorite views and so I thought I would paint it today just as something else for my Etsy shop but also because I thought it would be fun. So let's get to it. So first I'm going to start by painting the foothills on the front, or the foreground, and then the sky on top afterwards, but I'm going to use light colors because that way I can go back and paint on top of it. If you start dark, you're basically pooched. And then I'm going to start with green. Now I'm going to add a little bit of more like darker green to the mixture just to add some contrast. I do want to already start adding some texture since it's still wet. It kind of looks cool. Um, I can kind of pull away some of the, the water with my brush. Although this is very difficult with this size of brush. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to do a bit darker green. This is actually kind of a blue green. I'm not sure why I'm using this, but well, we're in it now. That's okay, but don't do too much blue. <laughs> this is actually harvest. It's a good base. It's a good place to start. Now I'm going to do the sky, so I'm going to do a tiny bit of blue, boop, and I'm just going to lightly go where the sky is, hopefully it dries before I get there. I'm going to go in with some yellow, because it's actually harvest, things are starting to get cut down, so we want some more yellow in there. If it's all green, it'll be midsummer. Mm, this is not bold enough because it's daylight. So we're gonna have to add some more, but first I'm gonna paint these mountains. I'm adding just some shadows, like some places that have more saturation um, where the sun wouldn't be hitting the mountains. So basically just like add more pigment on top of that. Also I'm realizing that it's a little bit dull down here. So I'm gonna add some more yellow, um, try to add some more texture, start adding layers because it is really bland right now, folks. It is really bland. <laughs> this to be a bit darker green and I want the bottom of the mountains to have more shadow so I'm going to just keep adding layers of texture onto the mountains. Also sorry about that my video cut out a little bit and I didn't realize that I didn't record me painting the bales. I just painted with some light brown and a bit of yellow. I did some circles I tried to do them a bit 3d but also the ones in the background I did really small. Um, once those were dry I painted with darker brown on top in swirls why did the banana go to the doctor? Because she wasn't peeling well. <laughs> that one's bad. So now I'm going to go add more um, contrast on my front hills because I'm just still not happy with where they're at. And then I also want to add some more um, color to the sky because it's not bright enough for my liking and then I'm going to take my Kleenex and create a cloud stamp while it's still wet and just dab away some of the color to create cloud effects so that's what I like to do um, real simple <laughs> nothing fancy I'm just adding little details and then I'm also going to add a Sun up here just a little yellow circle kind of over top of one of my clouds slash the sky and I'm just eyeballing it you could also find something circular that you could trace or stamp even if you like it to be perfect I don't need it mine to be perfect I kind of like it when it's whimsical but there we go so I just use yellow for that and then now I'm going to use more green 
I'm gonna go in and add some little trees along the mountains. That way it's like defined space because otherwise it kind of seems unrealistic. Ta-da! <laughs> I'm gonna sign it because I, I think it's good. I like it. So there we go. Um, I signed it. It's drying. Just waiting for the trees. Um, if you ever want to add more detail, just keep adding more layers. I am satisfied with how mine turned out. And also if you're um, adding more pigment to say the mountains and it's just not turning out how you want, sometimes it dries pretty similar on top of each other, just add a tiny little bit of black or just like a darker version of the color you're using um, to just add some more shadows, places, or yeah, just make it stronger because then it just adds more definition to your picture. And there we go. Take the tape off and voila! Oh. Just wait a second. Do, 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 do. Just gonna add some shadows to my bales because that makes more sense. <laughs> do, 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 do. And do shadow. I'm adding little bits of grass here and there too with the shadows just to add something. But there we go. Ta-da! I think it's done. Yeah. So that's my painting of the Alberta foothills landscape. I never know what to call my paintings, but I just kind of make them up as I go and they're always very descriptive. But anyway, so my Alberta foothills landscape photo or painting. <laughs> Um, if you like this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and also check it out on my Etsy shop where it will be for sale, and you can grab it for yourself before someone else does. My Etsy shop is Prairie Alpine Art Co. Check it out. I would love that. And if you have any other ideas for what I should paint, let me know in the comments below. Bye!